Hello, everybody. This is Rich Coet, and I've got a little bit of free time. I'm going to do a little bit of a rant today, uh, specifically about Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, man. That's not... That, that uh, wasn't about the movie. The movie itself was great. I loved Age of Ultron. I said it before, and I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with the movie. I would love an extended cut, um... Because, you know, it'll be even better with more character depth and more development, etc., etc., etc. But one of the things that absolutely I hear all the time from people, and I simply don't understand it, is that they don't think that Black Widow and Hulk should have gotten together. Or that their relationship works. Are you serious? I mean, really? Really, guys, really? You don't think that the Black Widow and the Hulk all work together? They explained it very well in the movie why it does work. And it all comes down to Natasha. Natasha Romanoff basically loves the Hulk. The Hulk is not the one to initiate. It's Natasha who's the one to initiate things. The Hulk is basically just reciprocating. And it was very well explained why Natasha likes the Hulk. She explained it as one simple line. There's this guy who doesn't want to fight because he knows he'll win. Which is absolutely a perfect description of the Hulk, but it takes a little... I guess it takes a little bit of mental processing that people aren't willing to do to digest the richness of why that makes the relationship work right there. The Hulk is different from any other member of the Avengers in that he is the guy who does not want to fight. He spends his life trying to avoid the fight. Simply put, because he knows he'll win. Because he is Jekyll and Hyde. He needs to unleash this monster. He needs to become not himself, a destructive force that he cannot control when he fights. And therefore, he does not want to fight, does not like to fight, etc., etc. You all understand the character of the Incredible Fucking Hulk. Now, Black Widow. Why would she be attracted to that? Well, it's quite simple. Look at what Black Widow's character has been through and what she has said about herself in the original Avengers, in Iron Man 3, or not Iron Man 2, Iron Man 2, and Captain America the Winter Soldier. Specifically, the first Avengers, though, more than anything else. I've got red in my ledger. I'd like to wipe it out. That scene where she is describing to both, you know, Hawkeye at one point and Loki at another point, why she's doing what she's doing, why she is an Avenger. She is an Avenger because she is trying to pay back in good deeds for all the bad things that she has done in her past. That is what she is trying to do as an Avenger. That is why she is fighting on this team, why she is being a superhero. If she could retire and live with herself, she would. She does not want to be the Black Widow. She does not want to have to fight this way. She thinks that she has to do it because she has got red in her ledger. She'd like to wipe it out, to put it simply put. She feels that she owes it to the world to do whatever she can the same way the same way that some other superheroes, which will remain nameless, feel like they owe the world everything simply because, you know, if it, or, or the, let me put it this way, the same way that Peter Parker is trying to make up for the fact that he let his uncle Ben die, basically at his own hand. And he's trying to make up for it. He's trying to fill this empty cup to bring his karma back up to neutral. It's the same exact thing with Natasha. Natasha Romanov, Black Widow, Spider-Man. Yeah, it kind of fits, doesn't it? It's like... And because she does not want to fight anymore, but she feels like she has to, she is kind of stuck in this place of hating herself while at the same time, you know, feeling like she needs to work and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And therefore, you look at her... And look at all of the other people around her. Nick Fury, the Avengers, you know. the And there's nobody 
There's nobody that can come close to relating to her except for maybe Tony Stark, who she despises. <laughs> Tony and even Tony Stark, you know, he doesn't he doesn't be Iron Man because he feels like he owes the world something. He's paranoid about the world and wants to protect it because he feels like the apocalypse is coming constantly. He's paranoid. That's why he's Iron Man. <laughs> Captain America feels like it's the only thing he's good at and the only thing he has in life is to do that because it's the right thing to do. Not because he's got a payback or something or wants to avoid the fight. He feels it's his duty to fight. Not because he needs to pay someone back, but instead because, you know, it's his duty. Um, the guy's trying to sell me a t-shirt out the window. <laughs> But none of the other Avengers, none of them, can even come close to saying that they would want to quit for reason, you know, but that they want to quit, but they cannot quit. The only, I mean, the like I said, the only guy who even comes close is Iron Man, and she can't stand Iron Man, and he wouldn't understand any, anyways. The Hulk, though, is the guy who does want to quit. He would love, 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 love to never, ever turn green again. That would be his ideal scenario for the rest of his life, as if he never became the Incredible Hulk again and just stayed Bruce Banner for all of eternity. But he has skills. He has an ability, specifically, that, you know, is needed. Natasha Romanoff respects Bruce Banner for that. And that's why she loves Bruce Banner out of anyone else. It does make sense for that relationship. It does work. I don't know how else to explain it to you guys. If you think that the Natasha Romanoff-Bruce Banner thing is not a good romance, you're wrong. Because it absolutely fits together. There is absolutely grounds for the relationship. It does work. The only thing I can think of is that I mean, if, if you don't like the damsel in distress thing, yes, Natasha was a damsel in distress. Granted, I don't think it was that bad because she signaled for freaking Hawkeye to find her while she was trapped. You know, but it's like, it's like this whole thing of, why? I don't understand. What made it bad? What made it so egregious? It wasn't. It was decent. It was good. Granted, it wasn't the best romance ever made. Although, personally, I freaking loved Loved, loved, loved the bar scene. I loved that. That was absolutely perfect. But it just doesn't make any sense to me that people would think that that part of the movie didn't work. It worked fine. And if that's the worst part of the movie, then Age of Ultron is freaking awesome. And it is. Thank you very much. I'm Richard Coat. <laughs>